I will talk to you about the Mirror, the new um, tool that I have discovered recently, well, not that recently, uh, a few months ago. And it's a tool that we use in a company, and it's basically uh, making our life a little bit easier, and it's saving us some time. Uh, before I start talking about the tool itself, I will tell you uh, something about the problems that we have in the company. And, well, I think that most of the developers uh, who do Android development has similar problems, at least those who deal with UI. First of all, the UI is a, a big task in Android. It requires a lot of work because of how many devices you have to handle, because of uh, if you want to do it right, then you have to think about all the resources that you have to provide, about all the layouts, about all the code that you have to uh, write for, for, this, uh, for this task. And because the, the things that you have to change always take some time. Um, I think that some of you at least have seen, have done this, and make some change, uh, compile it, deploy it on the device, then go to the, um, the screen that you were working on and then test it. And it's not exactly as you want it, so you go back, make the change, um, and repeat, repeat, repeat. And so this takes a lot of time, and second of all, it requires you to do it on uh, different devices, because on each of the, those devices, when you have one, you can, it can uh, look perfectly on the one device. You, check, you switch to the other vendor or the other resolution or whatever, and it looks a little bit different. And so, okay, it takes the time, and with Android Studio, which I love, uh, it takes even more time than the Eclipse. Uh, Eclipse or the ADT was uh, compiling pretty fast and deploying pretty fast and with this whole new build system that is underlying uh, in the Android Studio it takes much more time and this is one thing that I think the um, Eclipse was, was winning um, okay so you say we got the preview in the Android Studio which is working, it's working pretty decent no, not exactly. Uh, first of all, it's not always working because sometimes you get things like this. Uh, this is, for example, uh, we have a layout with a custom view that has the custom font. And it's not supported because you cannot use uh, add font from asset in your code if you want to do it. And so you have the easy edit mode, you do some hacks with that, and you try to uh, make it working. Um, but still, if it, if it looks, if it works as you want, want to, it's static. It only uh, allows you to see how the device will look in one specific state. In, uh, I don't know, like, if you have selectors, then you will see only the default value of the selector. Uh, if you have a layout, you will see only the, the one state of the layout, you cannot do animations. Um, and so this is a, a problem if you want to have um, better looking apps, especially when they are not just static. They, we all have been um, amazed by the uh, material design, which is basically, apart from being really nice looking, it's also very dynamic, it has all the animations, and with this you are not able to test it at all. And so, just to tweak how this animation will look, how to switch from one uh, activity to the other with some animation, or make a spin or, or a button or whatever, you have to deploy it on the device. So we go back to the slide that I started. Okay. But then, um, you want to test it, so you don't want to use the preview, you want to test it either on a real device, which is perfect, uh, or on Emu, the emulator, as uh, Jenny Motion has really brought us the, the new way to, uh, to work with Android. And so, you want to test this activity that is like uh, used only once in a specific case, so you have to either uh, make some mocks to make it work always, 
or you have to go through the flow of the animation of the application and finally open this uh, activity. Uh, so you want to s a specific use case and you have to go for it. Or you just want to see how the, um, how the application will look when you load it with thousands of lines of uh, list in list view, for example. And so you, uh, you don't have the API, because API is always not there yet, and, uh, and you have to make a mock adapter which provides you with all the rows, and just to display how it will look with hundreds of, uh, of lines in, in a list view. Okay, the last thing, of course, the fragmentation, the F word for the Android, and the uh, fragmentation is, is well known because, uh, well, it, everyone has have, have, uh, a taste of it uh, day to day. Uh, this is a great tweet by Don Falco. Uh, he wrote that uh, basically it's a, like a 100 uh, internet explorers. So you have a devices that works. Each one works differently and you have to test it on those devices. Otherwise, you cannot really say that this app will work on most of the devices. Especially the Samsung ones. <laughs> um, okay, so we know the problem. Uh, let's see uh, the solution. We have the mirror. Mirror is a, well, they have, they have uh, this great uh, expansion of their name, but it's, it's Okay, it's no more compile install run to see your UI changes on real devices, which basically is the, the whole thing. So I can stop here. Um, the, the, the big thing that, that you have to um, understand is that it's paid. Um, it's $79, I think. Yeah, I think it was last, what I checked was. And so, um, okay. It's, it's paid. Some of you will say, oh, it's, it's $80. It's pretty, pretty much. Uh, but on the other hand, you, you have to uh, think about the time that you, it will save you during each of those cycles that you will uh, then have to do. And it's, it's time like, uh, for, for me, it's basically 20 seconds of change and I think about two hours a week, something like that. So every week I save a two hours because I use this and not just recompile and, and make, and I don't do that much of a UI design myself. Um, okay, this is the page and how it works. It's basically a, uh, first of all, it's a server that works on your uh, directory, on your product uh, project directory and checks for changes. If it sees some changes, then uh, the other part is the client, which is installed on the device, uh, to look for the preview. And when it see changes, it, uh, it deploys those changes on the device and refresh the preview. And so, because of that, you don't have to um, do it manually. It's, it's done automatically uh, every time you save anything, any change on the device, uh, on an ID. Plus, it gets a uh, pretty decent uh, Android Studio plugin, which uh, allows us not to think about any of those things. You basically install the plugin, then you uh, click an um, icon to deploy it, and it's so, uh, it's so uh, good that it all, uh, also provides the client. So you don't have to download the APK into your client, into every of your devices that you have connected, but it itself deploys the client, so it magically appears on each of the devices that you have connected. Okay, as I said, um, it saves time, uh, which is great for me as an uh, I'm the CEO of this outline company, which is doing Android stuff, and so each time uh, one of my developers uh, saves two hours, it's the two hours that we basically earned. And so, uh, there is one thing with this approach that you can change. Um, basically, you can focus entirely on uh, layouts and on the UI and don't think about the Java. 
uh, you can uh, you can think that there could be even someone as a Android front-end developer, a person who specializes in only in doing the front-end and doesn't even know how the uh, adapter works. It's possible. Um, I have tried this with one of my interns who was basically for some time doing the HTML stuff and I said, okay, it's similar, try it. And he used the, uh, he used the, the mirror, and basically after three days, he was pretty decent with creating uh, PSD to uh, XML, to layouts, something like this. And so, with this, you don't have to write the code, you just have to do all the resources that you need. And then, all the resources you provide to the developer who is doing the code and, uh, in Java to make it work. Not to only to make it look, but also to make it work as you want. Okay, so first thing, the, the, the biggest uh, thing that you, the first thing that you will notice is that it hot swaps your uh, resources. So every time you make a change, it, it doesn't require you to build it with the Gradle, to upload it, it just goes to the device and it appears. So you change a the theme, it appears. Um, it allows you to preview the uh, drawables, layouts, animations, uh, styles, assets, and so on. So basically all the components that goes into the, how the application is look, how the application looks, um, is there. And uh, the second thing, which is which is huge advantage of uh, the Android preview, uh, Android Studio preview, is the dynamic preview. This preview works as an application. It, it works as an activity on your device. And so if you click on the button, the selector will work. If you um, have animation, you uh, you can and, and this animation starts when when the application the, the activity appears, uh, then it will appear and you will see the animation. Uh, you can even use gestures, so you can do swipe and for example test the um, view pager. You can use the view pager and and test how it works. Um, okay. So let's have a, a quick video from, from the producer of this, which, which shows how it is uh, easy to test on multiple devices at once. <coughs> so you make a change, you connect as much devices as you have, just make a change. And three seconds later, you can see um, it doesn't look good on the HTC something or something. Um, this is like a, a, a perfect a perfect setup for someone who is doing the tweaking. He, he's just making some adjustments in styles, in, in uh, layouts or something. Okay, so we have the way to quickly show how the, the layout will, to, to, to make quick changes and see how they uh, will appear. Okay, but there's more. You can do a sample data. So, as I said, uh, a developer of uh, my Android front-end developer doesn't know how the uh, adapters work, and yet he can do uh, Android lists or uh, card views or whatever he can do uh, with uh, without even knowing, and he can test with the content. You can do it with providing some sample data, which basically uh, are the... Um, it's a very similar um, directory structure as your project, and so you get the resources. In the resources you get the drawables, layout menus, plus you get the special files which define the screens. Each of those files define the screen. Basically, if you start for the first time, it will generate uh, a one screen for each of your layouts. Uh, it's not perfect, but uh, it's, it, it needs some tweaking to, to test how it works. But I will show you in, in a second, and you'll see how, how, uh, how cool it is. And this is a special directory, it's mirror. You can, uh, you can commit it to Git, you can, you can, not, uh, you can skip it. But um, this 
doesn't go into your package. So those are metadata which uh, are safe for you to, uh, for example, uh, you have some John Smith that you always put in your layout just to test how it will look on, I don't know, three lines, if you have three lines of text. And sometimes it's basically the, the developer will forget about it and it will leave, leave there. Or you have uh, images that you have put it into the drawables just to, just to see how it will look when you get the uh, images. And all of those things that does not get into the, your production code, it's in the special directory. Uh, plus, those are only uh, available from, from this. So you get this XML and you can access all of this. Okay. Now, uh, as I said, if you get the files, you can fill within those files, you can fill the data. Um, you, you can uh, use it with uh, list views, read views, and everything else that requires an uh, adapter. And so you do something like this. You, this is uh, our list view, box list view, and this items uh, defines the adapter basically. So I said that I want to have a layout from this layout. I want to I want to have five of them, and I want them to be. This is the single item, and I said that uh, the view that, it's, that has the ID of, of least item uh, image view and has the source to this drawable that I put. And basically, I do it for the one item, I do it for the other item, and then I say, uh, make it five times. So I get ten items, uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. And... Mm, Okay. Okay, maybe before I go to the custom views, I'll just show you the, the thing that I had defined uh, just a second ago, or I'll save it. Oh, okay, I'll save it to later. Um, let's go with custom views. I'll just show you the, the features and then I'll have a demo to show how it feels. Okay. Uh, the problem with Android Studio Preview is that it doesn't really work with uh, custom views. Uh, the uh, mirror doesn't really work that well. It worked much better, but it, it is not perfect. It's still, um, if you have some things that rely on the whole application architecture, you inject some views or something, you have to do it in an edit mode and then uh, just take it. Because this is a preview, it's not an application. Um, but one thing is that you doesn't have to uh, redeploy the application, you just have to build the code. So you build the classes and don't have to deploy the application, it finds that the classes have changed and hot deploy it. Um, the other fun thing is that you can uh, easily use custom uh, attributes. So if you have a, let's say, custom, custom font text view, which basically I think every one of you use, or something similar, and you have always the font uh, field that you just provide, you can do this. You can uh, use it in the, uh, in the this mock, this uh, metadata, XMLs, and just try quickly how, how it will look with the different font. Um, okay, before we go to JS, I'll show the example. Okay, I have a, a simple project which I did for the uh, Varsiava. Uh, it's basically, it doesn't do that much, but uh, I didn't really want to uh, focus on the, how, it, how it works. I want to focus on how it looks. And when I started this plugin um, here for the first time, it generated me the mirror directory and all the files that are within the directory. So I get the resources with drawables. I have put some drawables to test how it will look with different images. And also it generated for me the uh, XML, which is basically the copy of the XMLs that I have in layout. But you can all, uh, also add uh, as many XMLs as, as you want, because each of them defines um, 
each of them defines the screen. It's just the screen that you want to uh, see. It, it doesn't say that it has to be activity, it doesn't say that it, uh, say that it has to be uh, fragment or whatever. You can simply uh, test a uh, list item, for example, uh, within the screen. You just say that this screen has uh, the content and this content is described by this layout. This is, a, uh, this is uh, by the way, the layout of the activity. And then within this activity, I have this username edit text, which is ID of a, a text field. And, and if I change this value and save it, and of course, as a, a demo, it doesn't work. I have to. I think I have to go out of this. Okay. Let's try username two. Because you have no internet connection. Not really. So let's see what happens if we go into the layout itself. Okay, I'll, I'll ch check the last thing that I always use, which is trying to deploy it for a second and then going back. Um, I just wanted to show you how fat it, fast it is, and now it's not fast. Um, it's, it's funny because uh, just before we started, I, I tested it and it worked. Um, so live demo mode on. Mm. Okay, I'll try again. I can try a different layout. Okay, let's say this one and this one is not in, and let's say we want to have as much as. Okay, this one works. I don't know why, but okay. So, um, okay, so we, we, thanks to this that it's not working, we switch to the uh, other example. So we have this uh, 
This is a staggered grid view. I don't know if you have used it. It's uh, from Etsy. Uh, it's a great way to display these grids. And uh, it, instead of using the adapter, I just have added this item, uh, items. I said that I want this layout. And say, I said that I want to copy items five times. And I say that this is a layout of a single item. I can change the, the graphic and just look how it looks. Or I can make some changes in the text and see how it looks. Or I can do some better things, like have to uh, make changes in this uh, layout itself. So this is the metadata that I apply in order to fill the, uh, this whole adapter. I want to see how it will work when it scrolls, for example, so I place 100 here. Okay, it works pretty decent. Uh, you can do something like this, so you can provide the copy of multiple items. Um, okay, you see how fa fast it is, and if you see that the uh, changes that I have made are basically uh, pro propagated uh, in a matter of one two seconds. Uh, one thing that I want to do is this item. Okay, for example, no, this is not, I want to change the layout, and all the changes that you want to have in the final product, you do in the layout. The, all the things that you want just to see how it will look with the data, you do with a mirror uh, directory. And so I want to change the, the background of the text. And so I don't have this. Um, so let's say I would do uh, white. No, but I did the text color. Okay, so let's say. To black. Okay. And so you see how fast it is. You can uh, test the, uh, all the changes in the layouts, in the styles, in, um, and test the collections, which is a, a big pain in the ass. Um, okay, but so this is the thing that will most probably uh, speed up a work for a person who does uh, a lot of layouts. If, if you have a like, PSD with 20 screens and you have to do all of them, then basically you just take a screen, sit on it, and like 5-10 hours later you have the perfect screen on a, that works. You know that it works on a 10 devices, and it works on those devices, because it's not that it's just previewed, it's basically started on this device, so all the changes in a, a different font or decoration or anything will be displayed on this preview. Okay, but there's more. We have the Mirror.js, which is a pretty new thing. Um, this is a preview still, so it has, it has potential, uh, but it's not perfect at this moment. Um, it's basically a, a, a way to provide some dynamics with the JavaScript, but that just for the, uh, for the matter of testing. You don't want to use the JavaScript on a production. Um, but this allows you to uh, even faster your Android Android uh, front-end developer can test uh, animation, can uh, test how it will look when it goes from one screen to the other, uh, using some basic, really basic JavaScript, which anyone can you know, get the grasp of. And so uh, it's great to prototype animation. It has all, um, even the, the way to, uh, to write the animations uh, that are available in the Android inside the JavaScript, so you can test with some values and just quick have a quick uh, view how it will work. And then when you get the final, okay, all those uh, setups that I hear and they're working, I want to provide within the uh, production code, so I, I just re make from it um, either the animation XML file or some Java code. Um, Plus, you can the things that you would uh, normally do within the um, the Java code, like combining animations, 
you can do with this JavaScript. You can say that you want them in sequence, or you can uh, wait from one to the other, um, which is a good thing to, to test how it will feel uh, on a real device. Plus, you have the really simple but powerful uh, support for on-click, so you can get the ID of a device of an element and then put an on-click listener on it. And for example, say that when you click on some button, some animation will start. Or you click on some button and you switch to the other device, uh, to the other screen. Uh, which leads to the other thing, which is a great thing. You can export this into the APK. So you have a screen, you click on the button, you show the second screen. And basically you export it into the, uh, you say which one is first and you export it into the APK, and you can install on client device, and you can say, okay, this will look, so when you click, then you have this, and this, this preview, is basically a production code. All of the, the things that the graphic designer or this Android front-end developer has did, uh, did will can uh, go to the production code, which, because it's, it's basically uh, the XMLs and the resources are ready for the production. Uh, the potential problem that I see um, is that the client thinks, oh, maybe you're done. And so, okay, in a week uh, we get the release? Not really, okay. Um, too fast. <laughs> mm, okay, Qu quick, a quick demo. Uh, first, we'll try the demo. As some of you have made notice, I hope this one will work. Okay, we got the screen with a uh, with this layout activity main, which was this login screen, and also you have this uh, script equals my GS, and this is the file that I have generated, and it gets a little bit of a JavaScript, really simple JavaScript. We'll see. It basically says, uh, as, as I said, it's similar to uh, jQuery. If someone uses jQuery, it feels like home. So you get the sign up button. On this button, you get the click event and uh, call the function of it. And then you define an animator on this button. You can use this Java code uh, to test some, some variations. You can test how long it should be, what the value should be, and then just quick test it, and when you get it done, you can make it an XML animation or, or something like that. And uh, the second thing, this is on the sign up button, on the, um, okay, on the sign in button, I have uh, started the animator, but not used the uh, Java, but have used the uh, rotate animator, which is basically defined in my uh, resources. So I get this animator rotate, which is basically a standard XML for the animator. Okay. We'll see if it works. Okay, okay uh, we'll see the. Okay, this one was from uh, XML, and this one is the code. And so you can uh, test it. You, if you want to have a change from, let's say, no, no, 20 to 30. Okay. This one? Yeah, it works. And so you can make uh, quick tweaks, make it longer, make it faster, uh, do some other things. Uh, or uh, try a few animations one at a time, one after other. Okay, uh, one last thing with this is that I can do this open screen, which is basically a way to say uh, I want to open the this uh, screen file as a, a as a new file, as a new preview. Okay, so we'll say that on a sign in button. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll just check to change to the other. Uh, uh, I know what it doesn't work because I have changed something. 
so let's say we want this uh, active diffuse hood. Okay, it works, trust me. <laughs> uh, most of the time. Um, okay, one more video. Uh, because I didn't show all of the possibilities with this uh, JavaScript. Okay, so this is basically the, the thing that I did. But it starts automatically when you start the, the screen. You can change it. Uh, And you get the preview. <laughs> also, you can write the code and change uh, some values and see the, the, the changes. Oh, and this is a, a go opening the second screen. And it works for them. <laughs> and even though so uh, complicated animations can be done with this, uh, even the like uh, metro, uh, like um, uh, material design style things can be done with it. Those are the samples that I provided. You can look into the code how they have done it and uh, see. This is the APK, which is basically. Uh, a file generated so you can install the, the whole thing and you can test it. Um, okay. Okay. So as you can see it has some um, advantages over the preview and of course over the deploying and changing and deploying and changing. Um, Okay, huh. Okay, it's, it's too big. Um, this is a URL when you get the survey. If you fill the survey, you get the 90 day trial. Normal trial is 14 day, I think. So you have a plenty time to, uh, to test it. It's uh, bitly uh, mirror droidcon, basically the same axis as here. Plus, Okay, I'll give you some time to scan it. Or it's just bitly near or uh, droid phone. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the guys behind the, the mirror has a, a really good response. And I just, when I bought this, the guy have uh, spoke to me and basically uh, I, I started doing for them the, the presentations. I'm not any kind of uh, associ associated with them, uh, but I think it's a cool tool. And plus, uh, they allowed me to get uh, this this uh, trial plus a 30% discount. So it's this 80 bucks minus the discount. It's it will be uh, it's outlined as a, as my company. How convenient and. Um, it will work for uh, till January 15, I think. That's that's what he said. <laughs> um, okay, and I'm, I'm not um, any kind of affiliate. Okay, uh, last, uh, I'm Sylvester Madi. I have um, Madi. I haven't introduced myself at the beginning, so I do now. I'm the CEO and developer at uh, Outline. We do. Uh, Android stuff. Uh, this is my Twitter handle. Uh, free, feel free to follow me. I'll, I'll, I'll try to provide the information. I'll do also the Soldiers of Mobile blog, uh, which is basically uh, all the stuff related to Android with some trainings and stuff like that. Uh, do you have any questions? I have still five minutes. Yeah. yeah. This one. Regarding the list you showed us, the yeah. 
the, the question is uh, how it works that it, uh, it is able to uh, copy the layouts into the array, uh, well, to the adapter. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, it works basically. I think it's it's basically providing uh, a meta adapter and it's filling with the data from the XML. Th this is an application that has uh, this Sorry. blank. It recycles those views, like in standard adapter. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's, it's some kind of meta adapter, I think. Uh, I don't have the idea how it works exactly. It's closed source, so I don't don't have access. And I, I didn't want it to have the hacking of the of the uh, jar to get to that content. But uh, it's like this. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. The, the thing that I want to uh, save you with is that this is the way to save time. Uh, the trial is free, so you can check it. If it doesn't work for you, then don't do it. But still, remember that each hour of your time is worth dollars. So either you're the boss and you have the dollars for yourself, or someone is your boss and he has the dollars for, <laughs> for themselves. Okay, thank you.